It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Do you fancy a silly beer? <laughs> this is from Brasserie de Silly in Belgium. And this is a bottle of their IPA Green Killer. It's a 6.5% AB, ABV beer coming in at 330 millilitre. Let's get the, well, let's have a look at the bottle cap. Quite happy with that today. Camera's focused on the bottle cap for once. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Lovely bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. We got a two to three finger white head, lovely carbonation. Look at the carbonation on the beer. Slightly hazy, a little bit of haze going on. Not too much, not too much haze. It's a, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, with my eyes here looking at the glass of beer, it's a little bit of haze going on. Nice levels of carbonation, but when you hold it up to the camera, that camera's showing off a little bit more haze, so perhaps the camera's got better eyesight than I have these days. <laughs> uh, let's get the uh, aroma on this beer then. Ooh, this reminds me of something. This reminds me of a beer that I had years ago, but I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Oh, there's so much going on. There's a lemonade aroma coming through, a spiciness, pepperiness. Lime, a little bit of lime. Light biscuit malt aromas coming through. It smells really good. I'm gonna to talk to you about our channel sponsor and while I give you this information, I'm gonna try and remember in the back of my mind what beer this possibly was that reminds me of this beer that I had years ago. So our channel sponsor is beersyvideo.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all around the world. If you've been in the country for a couple of years now in the UK and you wanna try something different, try something that where, where you might've been on holiday once, and you remember the beer fondly, then have a look at beersofeurope.co.uk. You might find that you can find the beer on their website. It, they have literally a warehouse full of beer, so you'll probably find what you're looking for. I'm gonna say, this kind of reminds me of like an Adnams Innovation. It was a beer they brewed back in 2010, and it was a big, 750 milliliter bottle of this IPA but it was a stronger IPA about six or seven percent ABV and I just remember it being oof that that was really good back then and the lemon the lime the spiciness the pepperiness the malt build kind of reminds me of that beer how I'm remembering a beer from 11 years ago I don't know but that is just unlock something in my mind that just went yeah that's Adnam's innovation from 11 years ago. Have a look on YouTube. I reviewed the beer 11 years ago, Adnam's innovation. And it's just, I've not thought about that beer since. All of a sudden, springs to mind. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it's got a lovely hoppy finish to it. Straight away, it's just gone straight over to being a hoppy, hoppy kind of bitter lemon peel, orange peel. 
grapefruit peel, more of the, it's more like biting into a peel, an orange peel or a lemon peel than, than biting into the fruit of the, the flesh of the fruit. It's more eating the peel. But it's got a big stinging nettle. Big stinging nettle, spicy, peppery flavour going on. It's also, in its own sense, a little malty, a little biscuity. Zesty and spicy. But very drinkable, that 6.5% ABV is a very kind of drinkable, spicy, peppery, refreshing feel to the beer. Nice, very nice. I'm going to see if there's any English on the side of the bottle here. Now it's all, they're based in Rue Villa in Belgium, silly beer, brewed and bottled in Belgium. Um, ah, we have some ingredients. Ooh, but none of them. Oh, here we No. There's no ingredients in English here. Wow. So it looks like you have some German, some French, and some Belgium. So this must be where they're... But I find that strange, because on the label then, it's all English. The big writing, the big letters... On the beer label, IPA Green Killer. They put it in English, but they haven't put any English with the with the ingredients on the side of the bottle here. Which, well, I don't know. Maybe they're part of the Belgian family of brewers as well. It, it's like a small organisation in Belgium where I think they share ideas. Um, I know Duval, a part of that organisation. Um, Palm Brewery, a part of that organisation, and I think they share ideas. It's like a little club of breweries, which you get invited to. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't know why I'm laughing. I shouldn't laugh, really, because um, people are entitled to do what they want to do with their breweries, aren't they? Um, I'm just a very independent person. I'm a very kind of shy away person myself, and I... I Something like that would horrify me, being part of a club like that, you know, an inclusive club. Anyway, let's rate this beer. It's a very nice beer. Spicy and peppery, good levels of carbonation rolling around the inside of the mouth. It's sweet, malty to begin with. It's got a nice balance to it. I like the big stinging nettle, kind of hoppy, bitter finish to the beer. Yes, it's a good beer. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.